there are profound differences between outlets. First of all, physically. Physically look at the outlets. This one, the body of it's very small. Let me flip it over. You can see from the back view. Let's start with this outlet, which is, this outlet's typical of an outlet that you would have in your wall. I'm going to flip it over, and we've cut this apart so that you can see internally what's inside. First, what I'd like you to see is the relative size of the contacts and then the space around the contacts for cooling or airflow. Specifically, when you put the power cord into the outlet, it's only this part right here where I'm pointing to that actually makes contact with the blades of the power connector. Because of this very narrow contact area, if you get some arcing across these contacts and you develop um, a carbon deposit, that will actually generate heat. And over time, it can get so hot, like if you've got a space heater plugged in or, or an air conditioner, it can actually get so hot that it can um, melt the wires and start a fire. Now let's take a look at the internals of the outlet that we use in our power conditioners. First of all, notice the massive difference in size and the very large spaces around all the contact areas. This allows the contacts to be cooled and prevent them from overheating. Second, Look at the size and the quality of the brass and the size of the contacts. The blade of the power connector actually, if you'll see this point right here, actually contacts in three points. So the contact integrity of this type of contact is far superior to those commercial outlets that we've just looked at. And just for comparison, I'm going to put them side by side again so that you can see them and you can see the difference.